Are you attractive? I think the fact that you're here watching a Brett Maverick video shows that you probably are, but just to make sure, make sure you take this test all the way through to the end so that you can find out. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. Here on this channel we talk about everything men's lifestyle, self-development, fashion, fitness, girls, you name it, we cover it. So if that sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and turning those notifications on. I'd really appreciate it. So to find out if you're attractive or not, there's a quick test that you can take and this is comprised of a few different factors health status and appearance that can give you a baseline knowledge of how attractive you are so what i need from you guys is to go get a pencil and a piece of paper and number it one through ten so i'll give you just a few seconds to go do that and then we'll continue so after you've numbered your piece of paper one through ten i'm going to ask you ten questions and you are going to rate your answer one through ten based on how strongly you agree with the question for instance if i said do you like pizza and you 10 out of 10 strongly agree that you like pizza you'd put a 10. if you disagree you don't like pizza you would put a one and if you just kind of like pizza then you would put a five okay so i'm gonna ask you 10 questions and rate yourself between one and ten for each question let's begin number one i am a confident person so if you strongly agree, put 10. If you strongly disagree, put one. And if you're somewhere in between, then pick a number that's somewhere in between one and 10. Question two, I have lots of social media followers. Question number three, I have nice teeth. Question four, my skin is in good condition. Go ahead and put your answer next to number four. Five, I never feel depressed. Question six, my body is pretty athletic. Go ahead and put your answer next to number six. Again, you score yourself between one and 10, 10 being strongly agree, one being strongly disagree. Seven, I have studied well in school. Eight, I think many people have had a crush on me. Nine, I like to go shopping and attend parties. And finally, number 10 is I like to start conversations rather than answering questions. So go ahead and rate yourself one to 10 for that final question. So now that you've scored yourself for all 10 of the questions, I'm gonna give you a moment, but what I need you to do now is add up all of the numbers that you scored yourself. One through 10, add up all the numbers to give yourself a final score. I'll give you a moment to do that. Are you ready? Now it's finally time to rate yourself. So the designers of this test conclude that if you score between 40 and 70, then you are moderately attractive. If you scored above 70, then you are very attractive. But before you look and see what your final score was so that you can categorize yourself, what I want you to do is take your final score and then add 27 points to that. So whatever your final score was, add 27 points. You're probably thinking, Brett, why am I just randomly adding 27 points? Well, you're doing this because studies show that people are actually 20 to 27% more attractive than they think they are. That means other people see you as about 20 to 27% more attractive than you see yourself. That's good news, right? Why are you more attractive than you think you are? Well, there's a few different factors. One of them being that people see you as a whole. They see the whole version of you and they're not nitpicking little flaws like you do to yourself. We all do it, we look in the mirror and we look at our worst parts, right? But other people look at us and just get a general idea, good and the bad, but it's mostly the good. Another reason is because we are so limited to how we perceive ourselves. We can only see our face in two dimensions. It's impossible to see yourself in three dimensions, right? Because we can only see ourselves in a picture or a mirror, whereas other people can see us for what we really are, three dimension. And you lose a lot of your attractiveness when you lose that third dimension, unfortunately. Also, there's the mirror pair. Paradigm. Do you ever look at yourself in the mirror and you think you look pretty good, but then maybe you're out and about and you take a picture and you think, oh my God, that's me. I look horrible. Yes, we've all been there. The reason behind this is because you're used to seeing yourself in an inverted version in the mirror. Whereas when a picture is taken, that's not the inverted version. And 
it's not that you look worse, it's just that you're not used to what you're seeing in the picture. It can be horribly confusing because you look so much different, you're basically seeing a flipped version of what you really look like. But don't worry, other people don't see it that way because they're used to seeing you that way and it's not as different as you think it is. It's just that your brain is not used to seeing it. So don't worry about the mirror paradigm. And one more thing is everybody has a different version of you in their head. Everybody's gonna see you just a little bit different and I think that's kind of crazy to think about even your parents So that basically tells us that ultimately attractiveness is totally subjective. It's not concrete It's not black and white. There's a ton of gray area. So don't take this test too seriously There's a ton of room for error. There's a lot of different variables that go into it different people are gonna find different things attractive just like everybody has their type. Some people are into blondes, some people are into brunettes, some people like a big nose, some people like a small button nose. Everybody has a type. So whatever type you are, whatever you look like, there's somebody else out there where you are their type. This was just a fun little test to kind of see where science says that the baseline of attraction is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. But the important thing to take away from this is just to keep working on yourself. Try to become the best version that you possibly can because you only got one body, one life. Might as well just enjoy it and be comfortable and not stress over what could have been and wishing you were somebody that you're not because that's not important and it's going to waste your time anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You're awesome and beautiful just the way you are, especially since you're here watching a Brett Maverick video. I know you're doing something right. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn those post notifications on, and until next time, peace.